The Catalyst data profiling platform allows you to create different data classification policies. Policies are your data policies that allow you to manage and clean data and tier it and archive it and encrypt it based on your requirements. Some of the policies that are pretty common for data profiling users are the abandoned data policy. So you all, all know when uh, employees leave the organization, a lot, of, a lot of you clean up their desktop or their laptop and just wipe it clean, but there's a lot of data on the network that they own that just becomes abandoned. So if you look at data owned by ex-employees that has had no access in say three years or, or more, that typically is abandoned. No one's managing it, no one owns it, no one knows that it exists. Uh, so data profiling allows you to classify data based on abandoned content. And we're seeing upwards of 20 to 40% of content on networks, depending on, on the type of file system, like a user share, could be abandoned data. Age data is another classification, very similar to abandoned, but age data is data that's still owned by current employees that has not been accessed in more than three years. So that's your classic age data um, um, bucket. So you can um, quickly use data profiling to, to show all kinds of data based on server, based on file types, based on location um, that has not been accessed in three years and kind of drill into that content. Data profiling can also find redundant data as well, duplicate content. Um, in the data profiling engine, as data is processed, an MD5 hash algorithm is used to create a, a, a document signature that will determine if the data is duplicate or not. Uh, personal data, so a lot of our clients are using data profiling to find multimedia files. So personal files like vacation photos, iTunes libraries, movies downloaded via BitTorrent that are sitting on the network. You can use um, data profiling to just search on directory paths, to search on file types, find out who are the top um, owners of these, these file types, say the top 50 by capacity, and use that to notify their management that that data needs to be moved off the network. Risk-based data, which could include sensitive content such as PI, personally identifiable information, or data that was required for legal hold. Um, data profiling can be used either as a metadata profile, as a full text profile. In the case of clients using it for risk-based profiling, Usually they do a full content and look for um, obviously PI and, and emails and files as well as legal hold content that's required by uh, keyword search. Uh, data required for archiving, uh, move that into um, obviously into your existing archive or um, putting a policy in place to monitor active data. So that's the data that's being created this week, last month, last year. It's currently active being used, but what happens is, as it ages out and no one, no one uh, access the data, what happens when it becomes um, data that's owned by an ex-employee. You can implement the existing policies on the active data and manage that data in place to determine the, the disposition of the content. So these are some of the policies that are being used by the data profiling clients to help manage and clean up um, content that exists on networks and ser servers.